sanador no sanado. Yeah. Well, there will be many people in this world that that are an initial step for people turning away from the darkness. Y vamos a encontrar muchas personas en este mundo que están dando un paso para retirarse de la oscuridad. So as I was sharing earlier that God's teachers are not perfect or they would not be here. Y así como estuve compartiendo hace un momento de que los eh, eh, maestros de Dios no son perfectos, si no, no estarían aquí. Uh, there are those that get called into the ministry that never thought they would be in the ministry at all. Hay algunos que son llamados al ministerio y jamás pensaron que serían llamados para esto. And there is an underlying fear about sharing a message that they aren't quite sure is true. <laughs> and that's why there's a little bit of hesitation. Or they may sound like they're giving a speech uh, that they've already written out ahead of time. And that's because they're just taking their baby steps. Y eso es porque ellos solamente están dando sus pequeños pasitos. They're drawn towards spirit, but they're also quite resistant. Están siendo llamados hacia el espíritu o sienten la atracción hacia el espíritu, pero también tienen algo de resistencia. To some, being a minister is just a job that they have on Sunday. Y para algunos, ser un ministro es eh, solamente un trabajo que tienen para los domingos. Uh, they go to the internet during the week and they look up a sermon that they like and they start to memorize it. And then they try to give the best delivery they can on Sunday morning. Like some of their favorite Hollywood actors, just giving a, a good performance. If Meryl Streep or Robert De Niro. Como Meryl Streep or Robert De Niro, con fuerza. And then another week starts and they look up another sermon entonces, and read it uh, or, or memorize it for next week. Y entonces a la siguiente semana igual vuelven a buscar en internet, encuentran otro sermón y lo vuelven a memorizar o lo, lo escriben para leerlo el domingo. Yeah. But all of you are doing the mind training. Pero todos ustedes están haciendo el entrenamiento de la mente. So you may notice things when you go out to the world or out to many different places. But it's just important to remember your purpose, that you're there to offer something, to give. You're there to be truly helpful. In that sense, you're there to kind of get out of the way and let the Spirit come through. So, if you come across someone who seems like the unhealed healer, it is always your function to, to offer the blessing of healing. Siempre es tu función ofrecer la bendición de la sanación. Because the unhealed healer must be a call for love. Porque el sanador no sanado debe ser un llamado al amor. And remember, the Holy Spirit sees everything as love or a call for love. Y recuerda que el Espíritu siempre ve todo como el amor o como un llamado al amor. So, it will just be a temptation to judge it in a personal way. Entonces va a ser un juicio, una tentación, perdón, el, el enjuiciarlo como algo personal. And as you do this inner practice, your presence will draw forth invitations. Entonces mientras estás en esta presencia, tu, tu, digo, mientras estás en este trabajo, tu presencia va a atraer invitaciones. It's just like the life of Jesus or the life of Saint Francis. Es como en la vida de Jesús o en la vida de San Francisco. Or Mother Teresa. O la Madre Teresa. They simply drew witnesses to themselves from their conviction. And it took a lot of inner work. Y de, y requirió de mucho trabajo interno. Uh, Mother Teresa once admitted that um, for many of the years of her life in the ministry, 
este, la madre Teresa en una ocasión este, reconoció que durante muchos años al principio de su ministerio uh, that she didn't feel the connection with God. Ella no sentía la conexión con Dios. And when these uh, confessions were released and published, y cuando estas confesiones fueron eh, publicadas y dadas a conocer públicamente, many people around the world were very frustrated. Muchas personas alrededor del mundo se sintieron frustradas. They thought, if Mother Teresa doesn't have a connection with God, what chance do I have to have a connection with God? Ellos pensaron, si la Madre Teresa no tiene conexión con Dios, pues qué esperanza tengo yo de tenerla. But I just saw, it, it just shows how, how dark the unconscious is and how you have to be very persistent. Entonces esto solo me, me demuestra cuán oscuro es el inconsciente y la necesidad de ser muy persistente. And actually you have to be very patient with yourself. Y en verdad tienes que tener bastante paciencia contigo mismo. So if you find a resonance with these teachings and with the messengers, Entonces, si tú encuentras una resonancia con estas enseñanzas y con los mensajeros, then you can just give your mind over to that and kind of immerse yourself in those teachings. Entonces lo que puedes hacer es entregar tu mente a eso y sumergirte en estas enseñanzas. I remember Sharon was telling me that she went to different course groups in St. Louis. Me recuerdo que Sharon me comentó que ella había ido a varios eh, grupos del curso en St. Louis. And she started to share some of my teachings with the people in the groups. Y comenzó a compartir algunas de mis enseñanzas con las personas que iban a esos grupos. But they were not interested. Pero ellos no estaban interesados. Not slightly interested. Pero para nada interesado. <laughs> and so she went from group to group, uh, looking to see where there would be a spark. Entonces ella fue de grupo en grupo, viendo si encontraba alguna chispa en alguno. And then finally she found her group. Y entonces finalmente encontró su grupo. It's a website. Es un sitio web. ACIM.me. <laughs> <laughs> She found a digital group. <laughs> she found all these recordings of, that I do with all of you. So she would just tune in and listen to all of these groups and that became her group. Y entonces ella se, se, se sintonizaba con todas estas charlas por el internet y se convirtió este en su grupo. But even in that group, she had forgiveness lessons. Pero aún en ese grupo, ella tenía, tuvo lecciones de perdón. Because some people did not speak into the mic. <laughs> and she'd be straining to listen. What are they saying? Why don't they speak up louder? <laughs> so she had grievances with some of you. <laughs> even though she had, not, she had not even met you. <laughs> it's all in the mind. <laughs> But eventually she learned to forgive the ones that did not use the microphones. She'd say, oh, it must not be important for me to hear the question. <laughs> or to hear the comments. <laughs> yeah. So you see it works just as well um, if you do it digitally. And people enjoy that we record these sessions. Y las personas disfrutan el hecho de que nosotros grabamos estas sesiones. This is their digital group. Este es su grupo digital. And that's another way that you can take this experience with you. Y esa es otra manera en la que te puedes llevar esta experiencia contigo. With the internet now, we have live streaming and YouTube. Ahora audios. con el internet tenemos este, en línea, en, en vivo, tenemos este, también en YouTube, tenemos en los audios. Uh, my Skype contact list is huge. Mi lista de contactos de Skype es enorme. Yeah, because there's so many ways that we can connect over the internet, just as if you're talking to somebody in the same room. Porque hay tantas maneras de conectarnos via internet, eh, como si estuvi igual que si estuvieras con ellos en una habitación. Yeah. So it's going with what you feel resonates in your heart. Entonces se trata de que tú eh, sigas aquello con lo cual resuena tu corazón. And that way, if you are at a church or some place where you don't 
really resonate completely, then then you just use that as a discernment opportunity. And so the extension, like, it's just the way it is. I'm just getting quiet when dialogue stops inside and just just like going like that. Is that when it's extending, right? Is that the extension that we're doing for other people? You know, when we're with other people, just quiet the mind and just just like kind of like stare. And that's the extension happening when they get these little tickle things on the side of the head. Entonces la pregunta es si en el momento de estar en eh, digamos que en una meditación y cuando ya se van los pensamientos y está en un estado de quietud y de silencio, eso es extender. Yeah. Cuando siente cosquillita. Yeah, like the the extension is always happening and you are aware of it when your mind is is still. La extensión siempre está sucediendo. Tú puedes darte cuenta de ello cuando tu mente está quieta. And also you will feel that if there are words to come through, they will just come very easily without any effort. Y también vas a poder experimentar que si hay palabras que tengan que salir a través de ti, lo harán y será sin esfuerzo alguno de tu parte. Because the words are given you by spirit and spoken through you by spirit. Porque las palabras te son dadas por el Espíritu y habladas a través de ti por el Espíritu. So it's most important to cultivate this attitude and this experience of stillness. Y por eso es tan importante o sumamente importante cultivar en ti esta experiencia de quietud. It's like when your mind is still, you are saying to spirit, ready and available, I'm ready and available. Es como decir al Espíritu cuando tu mente está quieta, ya estoy lista y estoy disponible. Antenna up. La antena está arri hacia arriba. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Reportándome <laughs> para mis tareas. <laughs> and, and then, in that attitude, you can be used in a beautiful way. Y en esa actitud, tú puedes eh, ser usado de una manera muy hermosa. Again, miracle working is actually natural, so uh, it doesn't really need to be a struggle at all. Entonces en realidad el obrar, el obrar milagros es algo natural y no tiene que ser una, algo que sea un esfuerzo grande. But you have to keep coming with the willingness. Pero tiene, tiene siempre que permanecer en esa disposición. I would take a, a prayer from A Course in Miracles and just, just let it go through my mind during the day. Yo lo que hago a veces es tomar una oración de un curso de milagros y la estoy corriendo a, en mi mente durante todo el día. Just to stay really alert and willing. Solamente para mantenerme muy alerta y muy dispuesto. Uh, just, just like you were part of a big team and you were just on call to be used at any moment. Como si tú fueras parte de un gran equipo y que estás eh, listo para ser llamado en cualquier momento y estar dispuesto. Yeah. Yeah. I was never born, I will never die, so I will continue.